Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Besiege. Today we will continue our maddening adventure into creating some very, very overbuilt and insane uh, creations. Yesterday, well, you'll see what we've got. It was pretty nuts, but today I think things are going to be uh, slightly different. Use explosives to destroy 40%. Explosives. Does that not mean cannonballs? I'm guessing that means... What do we got here? We've got a holder, a flaming ball, a boulder, a bomb. Explodes on impact. Alright. Okay. So what we've got is we've got a working model for... Well, not a working... we got a non-working model for a catapult. And that is fine. So, uh, we are going to open... Uh, yeah, sure. We'll open this. Great. See this? This is the catapult that we have that kind of works so that is good so then we will drop it onto the ground because that's step number one then it wants us to use uh something like that so a holder holder can go i mean a holder can go right here i guess it doesn't really matter too too much uh right here and then we can't really place one there interesting okay well what if we did something a little bit crazy? What if we did like a, a two, two-pronged approach? Boom and boom. There you go. That would be very weird. And a bomb can go within this, uh, within this receptacle, I think, if I can actually place it. There you go. Very nice. That sounds good. And explodes on impact. Uh, yeah. All right. So this will this will explode on impact. Well, that's that's totally fine. Great. So we can go here like this and we can go right there. No. Undo. We could place this and we got to make sure that we just don't overbuild this too too much because if we do then bad things happen. So we can't do that. That's fine. All right? Like this and there. Okay, so now we've got this. All we got to do is make sure that we don't overbuild this too much. So, uh, you know, obviously we can go. There you go. All right, that's great. Now this thing we just, nah, okay, undo, undo. This thing, all we got to do is really just make sure that uh, it's as sturdy as possible. Great. There, like that. Then we can go like this, we can go like this, we can go like that. Fantastic, we got all our triangles set up, and we can, uh, that's totally fine. Okay, that's that's built enough. This, uh, don't really want to do anything about that. Then we can go over here, like this, and then over here, like that. Again, the speed that this thing rolls doesn't matter. All we got to do is just make sure... That what we do have is sturdy enough. And by the looks of it, I think that what we have is sturdy enough. Great. Okay, so that's all tied together in a nice way. Then we go like that. And no. Undo. There you go. There you No. Undo. There you go. And voila. So, let's edit these things. Uh, up is going to be T, down is G, and the speed is going to be... Sure, we'll leave it at uh, 1.0 for now. That up is going to be T, down is going to be G. Great. And, uh, yeah, alright. Cool. Woo! Wow, that was pretty cool. I mean, I've got to admit, that was, that was actually sweet. Alright. So let's 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 take a look at this from a different angle. So which one which one is it that doesn't work? A lot of them apparently. It it seems to change depending on how close I zoom. Okay. Oh, look at that. We destroyed part of the castle. All right, that's cool. So stop. Now, 
I guess one of the things that I need to try and figure out is, okay, actually, here's a, here's a better idea. Because things seem to be weird, I'll just delete that and I'll delete this. And what I will do is I'll go something like this. Yeah, there you go. And I think with this, I should be able to uh, get two of, two of the scoopers. So, with one here and one here, oh, just like that, we can get two big bombs. And then we can just tune things in so that uh, it gets destroyed evenly. Great. So, now that we've got this, all we need to do is just strengthen this beast. So, uh, we don't want to strengthen it too much because that obviously adds weight. Alright, there you go. There you go. No, undo. There you go. No, undo. Here we are, like that, like that, and like that. Good. So, now that we've got this, that should be a little bit better. Although, what we should be able to do is do this. And then, what we should also do is that. I think, yeah, I think that that'll be a little bit safer. Okay. So, play. And T. Oh. Oh, the wheel sort of just broke. Okay, not good, but if we go like that, and like that, play. Wow, that just ripped it off. That just did more damage. Okay, maybe we need to dial back the speed of these things, because they are awful quick. So, let's go in here and say, fine, you guys go at 50% if you're going to launch things at the speed of light. So, 50%. Great. Play. Wow. Really? Play. That seems a little bit closer to what I'm trying to do. Stop. It really seems to... No, a little bit faster than that. Okay, so we're getting there. We're di we're dialing it into where it needs to be. So what about what about seventy percent? Seventy percent sounds good to me. Seventy percent the speed. Okay, play. Um. Okay, this just blew up. Adjust slider to time scale. Let's make it fifty percent of the time scale, just so we. Oh, man. Okay. Stop. There you go. Okay. Where is it breaking? Wow. All right. There. And... Oh, man. It just immediately bursts. That's crazy. Okay. So we just wait until they're nice and settled. Boom. That was okay. Let's wait. Let's do it again. Wait till they're perfectly settled. Boom. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty close. All right. We will just change things up a little bit. Make it a little bit better. What about a 70? What about an uh, se What about an 80%? Yeah, just, just a little tad up. 80%. Right here. Make that... 80%. Great. So there you go. Just wait till they stop moving. Oh, come on. Okay, just wait till everything is stopped, and then will it immediately shatter? Oh, yeah, that shattered. It rains down over us. All right. There's a lot of adjusting that needs to be done, but, uh, boy... I don't really know. I don't really know how to fix this. I guess one of the things I can do is go like that and just zoom down underneath. Go like this and go kind of. Whoa. Okay, undo. Uh. Want to go up? Okay, up back up here. There you go. And something like there. Then I want to go and I want to take it there, like that. And what about over here? No. 
there, like that. I think that could do it. If I go like that, all right, there you go, and all right. So this could, this could be it. This could help also I'm doing this and just spreading it, spreading this line right through here like that. That could really help reinforce it and could give it a nice angle boost, which could be very good. Okay. There you go. All right. I think, I think now we're, now we're really talking. So, T. Woohoo! Okay. Stop. It doesn't really seem to have helped, but it seems to have stopped it. So if I now go to one times the speed, there you go. One times the speed. Again, we're in slow motion. Whoa! Yeah! That was pretty sweet. Okay. Now, what if we go over here and go 1.4 1. 1. times the speed? So hopefully this doesn't just rip it apart, but it, it might. 1.4 times the speed. Play. Whoa! Boom! All right. Well, that is that is pretty good, pretty good indeed. But if there were a way to like keep this thing on the on the ground, in fact, there kind of is a way to keep it on the ground. Uh, all we really need to do is just make this thing weigh uh, weigh an absolute ton. So that's pretty easy. All we really need to do. Uh, with that is just make these super long uh, super big things right here that just weigh like a million pounds there you go like this uh, we just have them linked together like that and then uh, I don't know just add a whole bunch of stuff like this there you go no right there all right erase this one and then um, then, I don't know, do we add wheels on it? We could add wheels on it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can go, sure, let's just add, like, a ton of wheels, just so that it, like, it doesn't, uh, it, it holds itself up. There you go, like this, awesome, and then if we need it to weigh more, we just place, like, all of this crap, there you go, all on there. So, there you go, like, th oh man, this is just, this is just gonna make things weigh an absolute ton. Okay, there you go, that's our big, this is our big counterweight measure right here. Alright, play. <laughs> okay, fire in the hole, boom, whatever, we, we made it, we can go to the next zone. Alright, very, very cool, so... A lot of cool things you can do. This is absolutely like a terrible idea. This this vehicle, it, it doesn't work. Look at it. It's an abomination. But uh, you know what? I have had a good time with the game. It obviously is very, very promising. There's a ton of cool things that you can do with this. Uh, is it complete? Well, you know, more and more is going to get added. And I believe this is from the developer of Kerbal Space Program. So, you know, that could be uh, that could be very promising. Could be a lot of cool stuff that could come in the future. Uh, could be very interesting. Something to look at. The graphics are just beautiful. It is always fun to uh, create things. The creation interface is very intuitive. Is there very much to the game? No. There's just a very just very few levels, which is why I've taken so long playing through it slowly. But actually, I'm I'm not even like halfway through the levels that uh, there are. At least if I click on this, I can see. If we go to level select. Um, you can see I'm about actually I am I'm about halfway through the levels uh, that exist currently and I'm sure there's a lot of things maybe there's even mods you can download get some extra levels and stuff like that this is definitely a game to keep your eye out on it is super cheap right now it is worth it maybe the game will get more expensive as time goes on but um, honestly now is a good time to buy I, I it's the kind of game where like I feel like it should get more expensive if this was a complete game with like way more stuff in it it should be worth way more than the like seven dollars i paid for it so i mean if that's gonna be the price forever that's gonna be the price forever if the price will go up when it fully releases then now is a great time to buy honestly what you got is pretty fun if you're interested in what you see uh i say it's good hopefully you guys have enjoyed and tune in tomorrow for another week of a new game in this can't be real oh uh, yeah cue the royalty free music Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet.
stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one.